Um, Harrison does not want to have a conversation. I wonder why. Um, when there are no receipts, hoes don't want to take a seat and actually talk about it. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. But maybe me and Brad could work it out. We'll see. We'll see. Why are you looking like that? What? Oh, I'm not gonna give me a hug. You just go. You just go. Oh sit. well, listen. I know the, the cases COVID. in this COVID are rising. Oh wow. Okay. We don't live together. I Hello. get you. I get you. I get you. Well, well. I don't know who to trust at the table. <laughs> just what? I don't know who to trust at the table. <laughs> oh hi. Lou, I'm this well. is Benji. Benji, this is Lou. Lou, when Lou walked in, I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like for real. You already know Brad. The um, big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing tonight? I'm uh, excellent. How well, actually, not tonight. My bad. Noon. I'm Hello. excellent. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing swell. <clears throat> I hope the bitch is clean. Well, I, we're just gonna skip to the chase here. Yes. Because I'm hungry. Not even gonna lie to y'all. I want some food. <laughs> um, I feel as if y'all too probably can have a conversation. Well, I'm gonna start because, you know, you've been shaking the room this whole time. <sighs> you to come at me the way you've been coming at me, left field, I just feel like, you know, as, you know, gay black men in America, maybe we can get along because it's June, but I guess not. Me and Lou don't really have much of an issue. I mean, I threw a, a little light shade at the entrepreneur dinner. She was doing too much. I don't know. I don't know you. So it. But okay, let's not. You've been coming at me. You like. Let's, let's I take, think it's both been a little let, shady. Let's let's Just take a little responsibility. Bit. Like let's really take responsibility. Like, um, yes, I carry something because I don't know you, but I do know her. Mm -hmm. So if you did, would she be, show you a police report. Let me just say. Let me just. Ask no, that. she no, she didn't. I I would love to see a police report and a mugshot. Ooh, police show me. No, she okay. didn't. They didn't get that far. But if you're familiar, more familiar with someone than the other person, and this is somebody new you're coming across, you you would understand. Like you would take the side that you know. Yeah, I can get to know you by myself. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if my friend is telling me something and I don't know the unfamiliar person, I'm going to be on the defense. That's so. true. That's true. Mm -hmm. Um, as far as your friend goes, I don't know what her issue is. Like, whatever. well, that's between y'all. Yeah. But um, um, and then. I understand that, you know, that's your friend, you know, you don't know me from a can of paint, mm -hmm. but I feel like you didn't want to like me from the jump. Because you think the so? Yes, because the minute I said, I think, what, to Tony, I was like, oh, I'm maybe 21 in a couple of days and I can order champagne, something like that. And then when you introduced yourself, you were like, oh, well, I'm 22 and I can already order champagne. And I was like, oh, <laughs> they might have been a liquor. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it might have been the loser. I don't. Know. I mean, you know, a little Sunday evening shade never hurt nobody. But so basically, y'all saying y'all is is y'all the there was never an the issue. The last yeah, time we met up, I wanted to just cheat a girls one road and move on because, like, I mean, yeah, the okay. yeah, so I, I okay, so basically, y'all two just agree that it's not really that deep. It's not. It's not. Me and Brad made up. I mean, maybe now I can get to know where her zodiac sign is because we're clearly not that compatible. Um, like, listen, I'm from the suburbs, I don't want that smoke, and we can tell that Brad, huh, he's no joke. So, I'm glad that we're cool. I don't know how long this is gonna last because at the end of the day, I know where your loyalty lies. And it lies with that bitch that makes her mother cry with the way that she looks. Um, Brad was cool with people. I like how he's so, well, he come off so calm and collected. Like, he don't really seem like he get too much out of his character. Like, it seemed like he really had everything well put together. I like that. Like, he was real cool. Like, what? I have no idea what her problem is. I think that um, because... she is suffering from a severe case of delusion <laughs> because I don't understand how you can carry an empty bone with no medical documents. And if there were medical documents, it will be diagnosing you with hysteria or maybe the COVID. Who knows? Not speaking it on your life. But I don't understand what her issue is at all. Because, mm -hmm. like, I mean, we worked at Old Navy back in the day. Okay. We worked at a retail store together back when I was in high school. I was 17. She was about, you know, 26. Don't know. 
Um, so you're lying on another gay black man in America trying to build a brand out here. Mm. And I don't even like, I haven't even seen you in like a couple of years. So I don't know what the issue is. But I guess in retrospect, it's not my issue, nor do I care, nor am I going to have a hundred thousand dollars in a knapsack laying around for anyone to grab i got hired i mean i'm 17 at the time this bitch is what 27 for sure i don't know um i just know she was way older than me so when i got hired i was like okay here's another you know you know gay person because i'm young well yeah why wouldn't the gay girls pick up at the job exactly. that's what we thought was and then we had the job you know? she wasn't really featuring me clearly because i was a new gay boy in the block but i didn't really let it bother me because I'm there to make my money. We're employed, we're not in high school, and I was in high school at the time. Um, I just feel like, why would you lie? Because that's a lie. That's a bold faced lie. I want to see the camera footage, I want to see the manager, I want to see the uh, timestamp. Bring the receipts, baby girl, in the baby world, because you're acting very childish right now. <laughs> Well, she says she, she, she's done with it. She doesn't want to have a conversation, but I do. Because she's a I, scary bitch, and she doesn't want to fess up to the fact that she lied, and that she was the one stealing clothes, and that she was the one trying to, trying to talk to minors, okay? Yes, because what? There was what? a dude that we worked with, and he was heterosexual, and we were the same age, because we were both in high school. And, you know, she was trying to talk to him, but he was straight, and it went no way. This, I'll say this. For her to be messing with him, it would have to be consensual. He was not checking for her because he was straight and we all knew that, but clearly th she thought she was so great and thought that she could make him reconsider when she clearly needs to reconsider her outfit choice. I think we are just gonna, well, okay, how about this? So, Sunday, okay. I wanna have a dinner. Mm. Um, and I want everyone to show up. And when I say everyone, I mean everyone. I want everyone to dress really nice. I want to all look really good and look really nice and good and take pictures and stuff and just mm -hmm. all go along one last time because Pride Month is coming to an end. That's true. And I just want us to have at least one positive event. Okay. So, do you think you could be in the same room with Harrison and that it just be like... Definitely. I could definitely be in the same room with, um, you know, Harry. Um, but well, I feel like if it happens like this no happens, then it should be good. Right, exactly. Because I didn't come here to, you know, fight or whatever. I'm from the suburbs. I don't... Right. Too bad. Right. Are exactly. still. Hello. <laughs> exactly. So, <laughs> that's why I'm just kind of like... And then, on top of that, I haven't seen my house keys since that argument. If you ask me to install my house keys to take it to my <laughs> um, house in the middle of the night and come up with more motherfucking lies. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah. Well, are you gonna come to the dinner? Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> You're never no, scared. Nasty, no. <laughs> I don't know about all of this. How, are you <laughs> how do I feel? Mm -hmm. No, how you feel? You say I'm so masculine. How you feel? I mean, well. I'm just sitting here and I say um, Benji's masculine. I didn't know masculine uh, gay men existed in Dirty Duval. So that was like, oh wow, refreshing to see. And her eyebrows is touching her edges. I was just like. It's not it. It's not the look. But um, I mean, I guess. You know, it's just because you know. Yeah. You look like a dude, yeah. so <laughs> nothing's very crop toppy or you know booty shorts about you. Is he your type, girl? Girl, no. <laughs> so her eyebrows do be touching her edges, like they so extended. So me and Lou decide to bury the hatchet, you if you will. And I really don't know where it could go. It could go back left or we could be cool. Um, I just hope she doesn't steal from me. Because <laughs> $100,000, I'm going to kick your ass. Next. So you going to dream about me when you sleep and want to get every day, but only get it on the weekend. And it's ass talk. Not but that bad talk. You ain't got the money. They fuck nigga hit the ass fall. Fuck your explanation, I don't want to hear no Well, if it ain't that, hospital, go out, get her, that's snow. All in the hospital, they go. Hop, hop, hop in a Benz Jetta or Rolls with a ball. I mean, why don't you dance? Harrison invited me to be a part of this photo shoot for Pride. Uh, personally, I'm extremely honored because I never got, I guess, invited to do anything like that before. 
Um, and it was super exciting to be a part of something that's a part of my community. Today is my photo shoot. I'm so excited. Um, basically, this photo shoot was for just all of my friends. Um, it was a pride photo shoot. Um, I kind of wanted black, young black people um, because I feel like we're not featured in a lot of these pride campaigns that come every June. You know, we see every company come out with a pride campaign. <sighs> she been talking about this photo shoot all, all fucking week, bitch. I um, got on already. I, I done popped up into the bitch. Bitch is raining. Don't even want to be here. And it's never black and brown people that are in them. And so I kind of just wanted my friends and myself to be showcased on a pride platform that show young black people existing, loving themselves, having a good time, and just being generally sexy. Then we started taking pictures and I realized I'm a bad ass bitch. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, it was very like it was good energy. We was talking about like very exciting things. The experience was iconic. The vibe was good. Everyone looked amazing, and you know, shit. My pictures turned out cute. Oh. Chrome outfits looked so good. My friends did such a good job. Um, so I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of myself. Um, I was very nervous um, about this whole project because it was my first big project um, that I'm that I was really putting together and doing, and it came out so good. Knowing that the vibes are clearly positive, me and Harrison definitely have to have a conversation about you know the whole Lou argument. I just, I just no, it's gonna go like that. It's fine. I definitely because it had been something that had been affecting me. Like, and honestly, it didn't bother me. It was just the fact that I kept like that coming up. And I'm not saying that straight up. Don't get me wrong. But it was just the fact that I don't associate myself with her for the reason. So it didn't bother me until I was like in that bitch face. She's trying to like, and then she tried to turn it around on me. I definitely understand where Harrison is coming from when she basically says she doesn't want to have a conversation with Lou. Honestly, if a bitch said I stole, which a bitch has, you know, a bracelet, but I don't have any on right now. Um, I would feel the type of way too. Girl, you should have took your, should have took your verdict as the thief. Because the category was, you bitch, you're a bum. You couldn't even, you didn't even have, bitch, you didn't even have $20 to get into it. Like, bitch, you didn't have $20. This means you shouldn't have been driving to the place anyway because bitch, you're wasting gas. You don't have $20. Last time me and Lost Provincial Lou got into it, um, I just, I don't see it for her. She doesn't do it for me. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's her prerogative. She wants to say she's not a thief. That's her business. But I know what happened. The whole, the whole situation is damn way at this point anyway. So it's just, I feel like, I feel the need to address it because she was on my mind. <laughs> so Tony decided to book yours truly for a photo shoot. So today we're gonna go out and we're gonna shoot in this awesome location that is literally perfect for what we want to do. And after, I gotta chat with my girl. So today, me and Therese are doing our first ever collab. I am so excited and super stoked. You know the saying, great minds think alike. We kind of found the same picture and we were just like, I wanna recreate that. So when he showed it to me, I was like, okay, so you're literally living in my brain, rent free. Cause that's literally what I was about to go do. So I was like, why don't two bad, bad bitches link up and we can go ahead and do this photo shoot. One, two, three. Tourette's kind of sat me down after the photo shoot and we were just kind of kicking and having, you know, girl talk. He's got a bad project. We're booked and busy. 
<laughs> My nigga, I, I, I can't trust it in that. No, no, like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie to you, like, even Harrison's photo shoot, like, it felt really. I don't know, like, the. It just. It was a feeling that I really liked. Like, just us being there and, like, taking a photo shoot. Like, bitch, I could. Like, if that was life, I like, if that was, like, everyday life, yeah, I could do that every day. All day. I have officially been single for a hot minute and honestly y'all I want a man of my own I'm tired of going back and forth with the tinder dates and the 10 minute conversations I'm just really ready for somebody to be my own and I'm trying to find out what is stopping me from getting to that level um, I'm tired of being single like I'm ready for a man when you're single <laughs> <laughs> no, like, be like real, you know what I mean? Like, person that I'm dealing with, I just feel like the whole DL thing is getting kind of old, in a way. Like, I just feel like at what, at what point am I gonna step back into the whole, okay, did you need somebody to actually claim you type of ordeal? Right. Mr. Russ is a really good person, and he knows what he wants. I personally feel like he's single because He's not able to find someone to raise his, or someone to just meet his standard or just exceed it. So, you know how gay boys is. Everyone wants a nigga with some masculinity in him. Right. Like most people don't want the fem dude. And I feel like um, all you see is makeup. Like you don't see nothing else but makeup. I feel like when people look at my Instagram, they see the makeup and they feel like I'm probably this dramatic drag queen that's very loud and very out there and very gay and probably doesn't even have a masculine side. And then when you see me in person, I'm very like quiet, I have no makeup on. I just feel like there's no one that truly understands the complete me. They kind of have like this image of what I am. Kind of put me in this category as maybe you wanted to be trans or something in that category more than just a boy that just wants to look cute sometimes so that's why when people are like oh you only talk to DL men I'm like well bitch those are the only ones that <laughs> those yeah. are the I mean. oh, you know it's difficult for a bitch I've been this boy like me and him we met in person clearly oh he never seen more makeup on because bitch who goes to the gym with makeup like, like and so I was like me and he was vibing we were talking for a minute and I was really really, really nervous uh, like going on my first date because I was like, oh, well, should I bring up that I wear makeup? Or because I know personally for me, and I remember this one boy stepped with me. Personally for me, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't think I would date someone that wears makeup. And he was just like, well, how are you gonna wear makeup but get mad at someone else wear? And I'm just like, okay, just because I like wearing it doesn't mean I want the person I'm with wearing it. Like, that's that's dumb. I know Teres has a certain type that he goes for. Um, a lot of people probably won't won't stand by it, but at the end of the day, you know, different strokes for different folks. I wouldn't I wouldn't even say that Torres would need to change his type because at the end of the day, I know damn sure I won't change mine. And if anyone says otherwise, then they don't need to put their two cents where there isn't a donation needed. <laughs> D Lou Collect, D Lou Collect, exhilarating streetwear with pride that will have you ready for any kind of ride. Sweaters, crop tops, tank tops, custom clothes. I serve you the whole nine so you can look oh so fine. Always with a sale that will have you good as hell and show stopping very well. Go ahead and visit the website in your face all up in the place and get ready to shop with Lou because D. Lou Collect, D. Lou Collect will always come through. Go be chicken wings and I'm chicken wings. I don't know, but I'm stepping in. I thought he was going to eat up. Why is he here? He's at work. Oh, damn. I mean, y'all. Duh. Wait, wait, uh, duh. I, I thought everybody knew that at this point. I mean, he's not the only girl that don't show up to shit. So it's a lot of girls that show up to shit. I just want to name one. I mean, you can do it, just please. I think it just comes to a point where you like, you just really got to separate your party friends from your 
like the supporter friends or business friends. Like, you know, you got different friends for different shit. And mm -hmm. I mean, some girls want to do nothing all day. And I feel like with this project, like everybody didn't really get the vision. It wasn't about just like us filming and being a drama. It was about like, I feel like as this group, we're so diverse. Like everybody's like totally different from each other. Like we got T girls, we got, you know, hood boys, we got bougie girls, we got the makeup boys, we got the gender neutral. Like we have so many different type of people. And I feel like we all want to be these boss bitches, but no one wants to actually put in the work. But that was supposed to like get us our- Who's hood? Get us our- <laughs> What you gonna do about it? What do you mean? What do you think I should do? I think you should have a dinner. A sit down. Maybe a sit down. <laughs> a sit down. I think you should it. address it, lay it all I out. Think everybody should. With everybody right. present. And if they're not present, I think that speaks volumes. Oh yeah, I just feel like if you wanted to be there for your friends, you would have been there for your friends. I get that we all have obligations and things, but it's some of us that don't show up for anything. Well, everybody has came. You can't. It's a little selfish to think that they would come to everything. You know, I think no, but some people don't come to nothing. But no they more. come to nothing. I don't think it's realistic to expect everybody to come to everything of yours. I don't think if I that want everyone to come to everything. It's just I, I don't want no whack ass excuses. I hate liars. I feel like if you say something, say it. Mean so if someone can't them. come. Is that good enough for you? If it's not a bullshit excuse, don't give me no whack excuse. But why does it always have to be not a whack ass, whack ass excuse for them not to come? Some girls just can't come why? or don't want to come. Why though? Do but they, you will come for a turn up every time. You never miss a turn up. To me, that kind of just sounds like con consuming to come to every event. No, you have you're not saying that. Everything you put on, you got to go to. No, 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 I'm saying, but people don't show up for nothing. Zips out of and Zip their excuses what? are invalid. Zip what? <laughs> Zipzada. Zipzada. Like, I feel like work things, work excuses are valid. Like, I, I, don't come, I do feel that way too. I don't come, every, I don't come to everything. Yeah, because I, I, I got chewed out for not coming to one event. But a lot of girls don't say work. I got chewed out. A lot of girls don't say one event. A lot of girls don't say work, though. They don't use the word work. So I hope you chewed out them other chicks like I got chewed out for missing one event. You know, one okay. out of 20. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Thank you. So, I think it would be best if you could corral everybody together and have a conversation, conversation. with these again. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be fun. I got some shit in y'all. Honestly, I'm sick of these girls. I don't want to have a conversation. Wait, wait, all. what happened now? What is wrong? I don't know. <laughs> What's going on? Girl, you know what everybody knows. <laughs> So tonight is the finale dinner. I'm feeling good, you know. My outfit is cute, you know. The body is snatched. Um, you know, my hair, I, you know, I, got, I did a little, you know, Aaron like Grande inspiration, and I, you know, I was very Ari Chanel. Shout out to Tony. Let's see how this bitch go with all these new people in it, and these situations that popped up, you know, the little pit pockers or whatever you want to call them. I feel like I won't be able to even enjoy my chicken wings without someone throwing a drink or someone starting with me, but hopefully, bitches can keep their wigs on their head. So today is the last supper, even though I did not come to have supper at all. I know that my entree is eating that bitch hairy, emphasis on hairy, alive. I have not seen the group to its entirety in such a long time. The first thing in my head I'm thinking, I hope they don't have it. I hope they don't have it because I will not, will not tolerate Corona in my presence. Now the invitation list definitely was very broad. I invited everyone to my bestest guy to the bitch that I don't like named Scooby-Doo. So we're gonna see who shows up. Uh, everyone, everyone actually looks cute today. Oh my god, this is not a party. Okay, so the whole point of this was for everybody to like get to the next step and you know everybody to you know start their careers and all that. Everybody's outfits look cute. I 
actually like Brad's outfit. That fanny pack, I would wear that. Um, I thought Tony was adorable. He's just pretty. And everybody looked good to me except the bitch who thought she looked like Ari but looked like Arsenio Hall instead. What I would say is, um, some people decided to give their ass to kiss, basically. The ones that gave you their ass to I don't know what the hell to say. What the hell to say today? So everybody at the fucking table being quiet and shit, being sneaky. So I, bitch, I had to speak. I got something to fuck to say. The chick, the chick that you, let's be honest, the chicks that you are not the chick that showed up. She showed up. He showed up. He showed up. She showed up. He showed up. She showed up. She showed up. He showed up. She showed up. He showed up. Everybody, this bitch showed up. <laughs> <laughs> I said who gave their all. Who gave their all? Max is. I see where he's coming from, but I also see where Therese coming from. Like, I'm more leaning on Therese's side. But Max, he do got supporters, but listen. Ain't good enough. You know, like pros and cons, this was where. This is Therese, this is Mac, and it's like, oh, you almost reached it, but it's not good enough. Like, bitch. Okay, hold on, that's the real dynamic of why the bitch is coming. Because everybody wanna be with when they wanna be sensitive. Let's get into some real shit. Y'all looking at just stop being weird about certain situations here. Okay, I'm- Stop trying to call the bitch out about something. Okay, that'll cause problems myself. Oh. So, it caught me way off guard. Therese and Matt are going at it. Some he said, she said shit. If it go on any longer, I'm gonna slap both of them. I don't make it to certain people, period. I don't make it to people, not nobody. I wouldn't say we was getting into it. It might look like that, but we were just, we were just having a discussion. She brought up a discussion while the group broke up, and I'm just like, everybody let everybody get away for shit, and it's just like, we're supposed to be friends. We shouldn't be doing that. We should be together, union, bitch, we all gay and shit. Like, it's power to us. We all black and shit. Like, come on now. Get it together. We shouldn't be tearing each other apart and shit. I don't make people for no bitch in this group. I don't know, make no excuses. I don't take up for my fucking ex. I don't take up for my ex. I don't take up for my ex. For my ex. That's her. That's her. Honestly, they're both right. Therese has a point when he says everybody kind of makes leeway for everyone in the group. But specifically, Therese is kind of guilty of, you know, giving others more passes than others. So everyone was having their kumbaya moment. Um, bitches were... Bitches were selling their differences. Bitches were coming for bitches across the table. I just felt like it was my moment to, you know, bring my entree to the table. Um, and I have to check Zoe. Wait, hold on. Yeah, hold on. I'm not upset. My whole thing is like, I didn't want my nigga to say that. <laughs> I'm not really on this side of the motherfucker. He made a comment about my nigga that I didn't like. And my whole thing. You don't like what I said. No, but you thought you thought I wasn't in the room, but I heard that shit. So I'm just gonna say that. Because I'm not fucking stupid. I'm calculated. I didn't even know Tony and Brad were dating. You feel me? But I shit. I guess all I gotta say is. It's really, I'm never the, gonna be the type of person that's gonna check somebody about my significant other. Like, I'm gonna check your ass because at the end of the day, that person owe you more loyalty and more respect because of your relationship than anybody else. So, I really didn't understand. I don't know what happened, but I mean, hmm. He was saying prior to the dinner that, you know, Brad was his man. And he didn't even know that Matthew had him on speaker. And he tried to be sneaky and conniving and say, hey, is Tony there? Do you have your AirPods in? And he was like, why is he, why is Tony with my man, AKA Brad? So bitch, while you was in my face, I had some motherfucking pocket, I was falling in your motherfucking face. And you thought I didn't know, but I did. So, 
like bopping bread. <laughs> he was trying to get out what she was trying to say. And I'm just like, girl, you got a problem with the girl talking about your man just say that. It's not that hard. You could have just put bitch aside and said this. But she wanted her camera time. So I let my girl Tony have her camera time. It was cute. If you want my, just say that. If you want my, just say that. I want your nigga, nigga What you doing? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just trying to back shut it. So you don't want to, you, you were saying that he was your man, so I'm trying to, I'm, like, do you, do you have something you want to say to the panel? Okay, then. Whoa, 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 bitch. Now, I knew this dinner was going to be something because a lot of us haven't seen each other in a very long time. But what I did not expect was for Tony to check Zo. Well, I'm more popular than Zoe. I'm more popular than Zoe. Was trying to keep it cute because we were in a public establishment and I didn't want to do too much okay cuz my mama raised me better than that but unlike Harrison I have a real deal brand out here in these streets that I am building and for you to tell such a tall tale that makes no sense at all a thousand dollars where Monster, um, Cookie Monster. Yes, you at the end of the table, because I didn't come here to eat or drink. I really came here to confront you and then move on about my business. Or oh, are you going to ignore me? Where's the police report? Where are the receipts? Lou was just doing too much from the get go. Like you started, like as soon as you started talking, like it was like you, like and just went on a whole rampage, zero to a hundred for no reason. It has nothing to say. She doesn't have a brand. I put your name in the YouTube search engine and I found nothing. A lie on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
months before I did because you were still in clothes with your dumb ass. Don't you ever lie on any bragging piece or more. And bitch, don't talk to my mom if you look like a slime ball shenanigans. It's my mom, she His motherfucking Luke came to read Harrison. That's what it was. She got mad at that first round. Mama said, let me get my jokes together for you round two. And baby, she came, she came twirling in and was checking Miss Mama's. And I was just like, what the f I'm like, Har and baby Harrison balled at the end of the table. I'm like, Harrison, you didn't get this hoe. Get this hoe. The first thing in my mind when I see Flu and Harrison getting into it is it's a lot of dirt being slung because this seems like 10 years worth the drama. I need everyone to remember that Harrison's my actual friend, and at some point, I'm gonna get sick of pulling Luke's ass to the car because he's about to get beat up. And I told y'all the bitch was schizophrenic because she's carrying empty bones with no receipts. I have no issue with people that suffer from, you know, mental disorders, but it's hard to come to a resolve, and it's hard to come to a any type of cordial ship with a crazy bitch. I am not a fighter, so for this bitch to make me even think I'm a fighter and lunge at her, clearly I'm out of character and I need to take my ass and get into the bed and get back into character because, woo, I'm ready to kill this bitch. Um The season as a whole was an amazing experience. I would definitely do it again. I'm ready for season two, right by my bitch side. Um, I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to meet Lou, Harrison, just kind of create relationships with everyone. You okay? You okay? <laughs> Alright y'all, this season been kind of wild, so I guess you'll see me back next season. I'm gonna give y'all a little more, a little more something. I'm gonna see my face a little more at least. Uh, uh, director. I had a really good time. I'm sure y'all will see me next season. Get it <laughs> Doing bigger and better things because I have other things that are coming and I'm sure my friends do too. Everybody was pretty cool, except Harry and accept Tracy. I mean, we made amends, but then she disappeared wearing that invisible cloak she always wears. And I mean, Brad is cool for now. And everybody else, everybody else, you know, everybody else can come to the cookout. Everybody else can come to the cookout. Y'all, y'all good in my book. When someone tries you, let them know you're not to be tried. So, my experience with all of these people Therese put me around. Oh. And I guess I can see where it goes with other people as long as they keep their fingers in their belonging. Maybe next time production should bring people who are business savvy, hard working, cute, actually can finish the stylish, season. can finish the season, um, aren't whores. Um, maybe if they had an OnlyFans, that would be cool. But oh, we had a chick who, I don't, I don't know if she has it. Better people, bring better people, and you're sure to see Mr. Hilton next season. This season honestly has been mentally draining. Multiple filmings, getting everybody together to do these scenes, photo shoots, calling restaurants, trying to see can we fucking film. 
child, this was a whole lot. This experience is something that I definitely will never forget, and I cannot wait till everyone sees it. And um, yeah, season two, just wait. Watch my video, like I said, all my videos, don't listen to me, everything, and I will see y'all next week.